So what we see with boredom is that uh, a person has a project that they uh, basically give up on. And once they give up on this project, they're kind of talked into another project. But they don't have the same um, passion about that project. And as they, this, this mod, what I call a modified project, as they try to um, live out this new project, they just don't have any energy. And it seems like they're not interested in this, this project and they become bored. Um, and so eventually they feel stuck in this situation. That's what it, even people who are bored in um, like a class or a movie, they have that same sense, I'm stuck and I can't get out of this thing. And that's kind of what leads to the boredom. So boredom is sort of feeling stuck in a project that you can't get out uh, of. It is the major, it's kind of the major uh, thing going on there. So I see a lot of people confusing boredom and depression together. Mm -hmm. So how do you basically differentiate the two? Okay. In, in boredom, the person seems protected a little bit by um, um, attributing the, their problems to external sources. So in this case, they say, my job bores me, or these people outside, not me, but, but you know, my job bores me, or other people have made me bored. In depression, the blame, I guess you would say, is turned on oneself. So they say, I'm a horrible person, I'm to blame, I'm miserable. So instead of protecting themselves by blaming others, the depressed blames themselves. And this becomes, um, you know, why suicide is a possibility, because they feel so horrible about themselves. So the board protects themselves by externalizing it. Okay. In a sense.